taking on Sam Irvin, 2-1, and one, local boy from Hammer, I'm Connor Halliday, alongside Jamie Hay. Yeah, straight to the action, big head kick there, it slipped from it, Zaborski straight onto that. I think Sam Irvin watched uh, Zaborski's first fight, where he, got, he, he unfortunately got knocked out with a big uh, switch kick, came out with that kick straight away, but fell down, Patrick Zaborski on top now, raining down. Yeah, he's now being pressured against the cage, that head, Head control from Zaborski. Making it very uncomfortable for Sam Irvin. Obviously, Irvin's going to be wanting to look impressive in front of his home crowd. A beautiful takedown from Patrick Zaborski. Good control now on the ground, using that shoulder pressure. Trying to pass through, trying to feed that leg across. He's now in the half guard. He can sit in the half guard, as we said before. It's a good position for MMA. Yeah, really good for your ground and power. Randy Couture style. That's what you want. That cross face in a minute, maybe looking to try and set the arm triangle up on the other side. You know, it's a fan favorite thing over at the uh, MMA Academy Liverpool. Yeah, both guys bringing a good crowd tonight, too. Head control on the on the top from uh, Patrick Zaborski again, just making it really uncomfortable for Irving now. Both teams have great success in this building over the years, you know, titles uh, both going to either camp, both MMA Academy and over at Hammer. Jason Tank going back to the uh, Gladiator Challenge days, winning the, uh, the world title here as well. A very long time ago. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like I say, some great success from it from, uh, from both camps. It was Zaborski just riding on top now, not giving an inch to uh, to Irvin on the bottom. Irvin doing his best to try and scoot out to the side. Nice shot from Zaborski. Trying to pressure through that guard. As soon as Irvin gets a little bit of space, Zaborski just closes it. Uh, lock that leg up. Great work. And there's the boss just trying to do enough pressure to make some of it make a mistake, really. From the bottom. Yeah. Looking, for that again, looking for that arm triangle. Trying to slip through into mount now. Some big shots right on the chin from Zaborski. Yeah, good work from, uh, from Zaborski from the top here. Yeah, looking very strong. Looks like he's not uh, that first fight, and obviously, unfortunately, a loss, but it looks like he's come back stronger. Big shots from the top from Zaborski, making Irving just move and move and move. Yeah, he's got a really good, uh, good deep middle base here for MMA striking. Perfect work from Zaborski, really pressuring them hips down, and making, uh, making it so tough for Sam Irving to, to do anything, really. Yeah, he's looking, he's looking much bigger than... Uh, with Irving tonight too. Yeah. Yeah. Thicker. Every time Irving tries to hip out or yeah. use the elbow knee escape, he's just following and going under the armpits and then dragging back down to that sort of mid mid range position. Some good work so far yeah, from great. Zaborski. Great fight here at the Liverpool Olympia. We've got uh, UFC star Darren Till, UFC star Mike Grundy, and Bellator superstar Michael Van Page in the house. Yeah. That's what we like to see on the local scene. That crowd as well <laughs> over in Liverpool. I can imagine it's only going to get louder throughout the night too with all these Liverpool gyms fighting. We've always got big main event Connor Hignett fighting out of Hammer, taking on Luke Shanks, pro flyweight main event. Yeah, that's the uh, you know, got fight night written all over it as we said earlier. But for me, Connie Hughes, one of the MMA Academy boys, taking on Marcus Lewis, Titanium MMA. That is the fight to watch, in my opinion. I think that's one hell of a scrap tonight. So if you're, uh, if you're watching on Proper Sport pay-per-view, do not turn your TV off. We've got another, another 10 plus fights left on this card. 
And here we are raring for round number two of this uh, lightweight by Patrick Zaborski taking on Sam Irving. Strong first round from Zaborski. How do you think uh, the second round is going to be playing out now, Jamie? Well, I think the bigger and stronger of the two is certainly Zaborski, but I think Sam Irving's got a real chance on the feet. Yeah, he landed some very good strikes before Zaborski closed the distance. Throws a spinning wheel kick. Obviously looking to land something big in this fight. Yeah, and I think he needs to. I think that, that's you know that's how Sam Irving fights. Yeah, it's very true. These hammer boys don't come and uh, mess about. You know, he's very, very low hands. He's not got too much respect for his boss. He's stand up here. And a switch kick. Zaborski going in, head down there, great shot, great timing on that shot. Exactly what you'd expect from Zaborski there. You know, weather that little storm and then try and press against the cage again and go for that takedown. If he can just emulate, you know, the first round and just keep doing that, he's, he's going to win him the fight. Irving's still a strong fighter, though. Yeah, he's he's suicide good. throw. Him. Yeah. And that's where he's, he's messed up now, is uh, Zaborski. And you've now got Sam Irving. Oh, he's switched out, love the switch out from Zaborski. Yeah, he was momentarily looking for that uh, for that guillotine choke from the from the top, but Zaborski reverses position. Yeah, hard to finish against the cage. He's a head halfway popped out already. Zaborski right in his corner now too. Always great for when you're on top in, the, in a fight. Oh, absolutely. It's good work again from, uh, from Zaborski. Using that top pressure and really making Sam Halliday, uh, sorry, Sam uh, Irving, try and work here. A bit too heavy for Sam Halliday. Yeah, just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Momentarily pushes away there, does, uh, does Sam Irving, but again, does the tail of this tape, Zaborski's just, just pushing back in, closing that space. Real thick set, um, sort of bottom half on Zaborski, which is really good for this pressure in position. That's why he's able to nail them hips down really well with control from the top. You know, look at the size of his uh, his thighs, big, strong lad, Zaborski, and he's using some great skill so far from what his opposition. What he's doing in that half guard position, he's not letting the legs stay free, he's wrapping them up, very Khabibish style. Yeah, cable tying the legs. Sam looking to try and push away now, trapped up against the cage, it's a terrible position for Sam Irving now. Yeah, they're wanting him to use the hip and hip out, but in a minute it's very tough, he's looking. Potentially going for a lockdown from the bottom, but it's a really bad position in MMA because you get some really bad strikes put onto you as soon as you look for any kind of lockdown. He's just grinding it out, is Zaborski. Which, if it's winning him, you... That's fight, all he needs to do, really, you know? yeah. He's not having to do that much more. And, you know, with Sam Irving's a tough guy to, to sub. Big shots from the top again from Zaborski. Last 10 seconds of this round, I think. This third round, Sam Irving's going to have to come out and finish it. Yeah, he's got absolutely. He, he's, he's opened up legs a few times for Zaborski to pass, and Zaborski hasn't took the bait. He's just sitting there and dropping the shots in. Sam Irving needs to really change this up now, but there's a shake of the head there from, uh, from Zaborski. I think he, he, he wants to be finishing the fight from the top, but he's just not getting that. Obviously, I know he's closing that space, but Irving's doing well to try and keep him tied up, so... Yeah, he had two really good uh, opportunities there at the end of that round to pass, but he sort of didn't take it. Zaborski looking quite tired over on the far side, trying to sit down to the floor. Jason Tan having none of it. Yeah, he's got to keep his head in this game now. Yeah, he's, he's, win, he's winning here. the fight. He's winning the fight, he's got to stay in it. Well, that just shows how, as he, as he does too much energy in the first two rounds. He is looking rather tired at the minute, but Sam Irving's not looking exactly the freshest guy in the uh, arena at the minute. No, definitely not. He's got, uh, obviously, Sean Hammer Martin in his corner there. Definitely grilling him to uh, come out strong in this uh, third and final round. Referee Neil Hall clears the cage, ready for this uh, final round of this UAR lightweight bout. Zaborski, more than likely, two rounds up. Yeah, absolutely, on the scorecard, there's no doubt with, with in my mind that that's the uh, scorecard so far. Urban's going to have to look for a big finish. Which he's gone for there, he's looking to let him line over that, using that jab. Oh, great catch from Zaborski. Irving strikes are strong and they are crisp when they land, it's just Zaborski closing that distance. Falls to the floor does Zaborski. Zaborski happy to be on his back there. Nice hook kick. Yeah, just making him think, really. Irving's giving it all he's got in this third and final. Zaborski just looks a little bit laboured in his movement. Big wheel kick from, uh, from Irving. 
Zaborski looking to close that distance. Nice right hand again, though, when Zaborski walks onto that. So if Irving can defend this takedown now. We've seen how strong Zaborski is, and there we go, another slam. Yeah, he's just too strong and too powerful for, uh, for Sam Irving when he comes to the wrestling. I think we've got an angry, angry Zaborski throwing punches to the body and then an elbow there, which is very illegal in the amateur rules. Yeah, not just elbows to the head, elbows to the body as well. Yeah. Not allowed, I'm not permitted. Big shots from Zaborski from the top. I think Zaborski's going to be looking for a finish in this round. He didn't obviously didn't look happy when he stood up in between them last two rounds, so see what he can give out in this third round. A very dominant performance, though. Oh, very dominant performance from Zaborski. I mean, he's on, on the... Uh, not much has happened on the feet, really. He's not really done a great deal on the feet, but coming off, off the last that he's uh, suffered in his last fight, why would he stand up and what? You know, he's got a good ground control game. He's fighting against a slightly smaller man as well. And he's definitely got the strength advantage here, Connor. Yeah, 100%. Zaborski's doing everything he can to, to win this fight. Traps that leg now. Uh, traps that arm, sorry. Yeah, nice knees to the body there. Like we were saying earlier on on the fight card, them knees to the body when you're on the floor. Do some good damage. Yeah, he's still looking to line that. Crucifix may be as well from the top. He's still looking to isolate that arm. He's still looking for a finish to Borske. Which is what you want to see from these amateur fighters. Obviously not a lot of experience, but it looks like he's uh, definitely put the work in. Yeah, both guys experienced guys. Good control now from Zaborski. Yeah, a great round in them legs. And he wants to just posture up here. I think he's got a way to go now. If he wants to finish, we're deep into this third round. Yeah, he definitely wants to finish. He's dropping some shots. The referee Neil Hall's looking over. And there we go. Patrick Zaborski gets the first win of his amateur career by a finish. Third round TKO. Dominant performance from Zaborski. Shake of the head from Sam Irvin, which is very understandable. Oh, absolutely. You know, I think it was a fantastic work from. Uh, from start to finish from Zaborski, you know, his jiu-jitsu has just put jiu-jitsu kills on a t-shirt there. Yeah. Absolutely, it does, and you Very can, true. Nullify, can nullify a fight with great jiu-jitsu, and his passing was perfect, his movement was great from the top. Great work there from, uh, from Zaborski. Yeah, I think we, we've got to give some credit to Sam Irvin, though. Sam Irvin uh, actually weighed in at featherweight yesterday. Uh, Zaborski's uh, opponent pulled out, as did Sam Irvin, so he gave up some weight in this fight, which was very clear from the size difference, but great showing from both guys. Patrick Zaborski gets the first win of his amateur career, and we'll uh, hand that decision over to uh, Mr. Big Lee Nicholson. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, again your appreciation for the fight from inside, inside the cage. The cage. This contest has reached its conclusion, just, conclusion, just 11, 11 seconds, seconds away from the end of all the bouts, with your winner, winner by, by two.